Hello guys, what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys, and this time I was going to do a normal TF Talk video, but I decided, hey, why not do a live stream instead, because there's a couple of things I want to mention. Um, but anyways, this video is mainly going to talk about the new upcoming Studio Series figures. We got more of them. Uh, I might quickly just talk about uh, some of the other ones that were announced uh, that I've talked about beforehand, uh, just to kind of wrap things up into one video. Uh, this does not mean that I won't be doing the before it's out videos. I'll, I'll try and get uh, to doing that. Um, and I think those before it's out videos will come out in November, most likely. Um, but we'll have to wait and see. I, I still have to do the Rusty Bumblebee, the World War II Bumblebee, Barricade, Sideswipe, and Crankcase video. Um, but anyways, moving on from that, I want to make this point because... I think I've gotten 10 comments from people saying this uh, or, or trying to point this out. When TFW2005 or CBTron reports on the news, I'm going to find out. Please stop sending me links to TFW2005 articles, okay? I am going to know about it anyways. Just because I don't report on it does not mean that I am unaware of it. Also, my channel is not really a news channel. I just like to have my own shows and then discuss about certain Transformers things that I want to talk about. Uh, sometimes we'll talk about the news, but uh, mainly it's just whatever the hell I'm interested in. So please stop telling me about every single new thing that comes up on TFW 2005. For the past couple of days, that's all I've been getting. Or I shouldn't say that's all I've been getting. But for my comment section, I, I just see a number of people telling me that this came up. So I'm sorry that I sound like a dick right now, but I've mentioned this so many times in the past. Uh, it's hard to cover the, the news. Yeah, exactly. Uh, that, that's why I just report on what I want to talk about. Optimus Prime, or Optimus Prime, Rodimus Primal, do you want in the Hangout? Because we're going to be talking about Studio Series. So what's funny about uh, the new Transformers toys is that, uh, and I'm probably not going to catch up with the chat just because I want to talk about this. Uh, what, what's funny about the new Studio Series stuff coming out is we're getting the Constructicons and we're getting Devastated. And I was thinking, okay, that's kind of interesting, but that, that's kind of a big thing to really push on this toy line. But then I remembered that it's going to be the 10th anniversary of Revenge of the Fallen by the time that Devastator set comes out, or at least the Constructicons. So I actually think it's kind of an interesting idea. I'm currently editing a video, took a break uh, for dinner. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, but uh, I, I thought it was a big thing to kind of push, and once I realized that it's the 10th anniversary, oh, it makes sense, because we got uh, some 10th anniversary Transformers uh, Masterpiece movie toys. Um, so I guess it kind of makes sense. That also makes me believe that the new MPM-8 figure might not be from the first film. It might actually be from the second film because the original MPM figures uh, were the 10th anniversary of the very first film. That's why we got Barricade, Bumblebee, Optimus Prime, Ironhide, and whatnot. So I'm thinking that MPM-8 might actually be like maybe Megatron from Revenge of the Fallen or something like that. Although I kind of wish it was the first film to go against the Optimus Prime, even though there's no real difference between the two Optimuses. Um, but that one was intended for the first film. Although if you look at the new Studio Series stuff, they got a new Optimus Prime and they listed for the first film, but it actually combines with the Revenge of the Fallen Jetfire. <coughs> so, um... So, I, I mean, anything's up in the air. Uh, and also, I, I'm not really a fan of that um, first movie design of Megatron. I'm also not a big fan of the Revenge of the Fallen one. I think the Studio Series figure is kind of cool. Um, but I just think he's like a burly big mess, and it's just not interesting. Like, it doesn't scream Megatron to me. It just screams, hey, big bulky bad guy, which some of the Decepticons are kind of like that anyways. Um I mean, when you compare it to the one in The Last Night, I mean, that Last Night Megatron had a distinct design that was pretty scary. And that pretty much just screamed like it deserved the name Megatron. Um, 
but you know that's my whole thing um so anyways let's go through some of the older news uh we got a jet fire figure from the leader class lineup and uh i think that that figure looks pretty decent uh as i said before i think in motion it looks a lot better because when we first saw it the head looked really big and, and wide but when you take a look at the image and you see it in motion tilted and probably facing upwards it actually looks better um uh, also take note that he does have a giant beard so that's kind of part of his face um but i'm hoping that the head sculpt is a lot better than the original revenge of the fallen toy while i like the revenge of the fallen toy um i notice different things about that that's not accurate to the design um like i believe his face is more or less based on concept art uh and, and very rough concept art um compared to what he looks like in the film because when you take a look at his face and you compare it to how it moves in the film you start to notice different details um but uh, i really like the jet mode i think that looks cool hopefully it stays together better than the original revenge of the fallen jet fire um and uh it, it's it looks nice it looks beautiful it doesn't have every single little bit of detail like the um like the skunk logo or something like that um that i would have loved if they kept but uh i i think the blackbird design as a whole looks very cool and i'm not even sure if in Revenge of the Fallen, he had all those details. Um, I like the cane. Uh, some people were confused on whether or not he does come with the cane. He does. Uh, he's also got the axe, which is very cool. And uh, previously, we got Blackout with Scorpionox, so he can do that whole scene where Scorpionox going inside his chest. So that's pretty cool. Um, overall, I like the aesthetic. I like the look. Um, it's obviously not the original Jetfire. I, I'm talking about the original cartoon Jetfire, but I don't think it's bad. And then also they announced that it's going to combine with the upcoming new Optimus Prime. And I think the combination mode looks a lot better than the original one, um, because in the original one, like, like it, it's not perfect. It's got those weird armatures and whatnot uh, that wrap around the legs, but uh, it, it looks like it has the potential to be more poseable than the original toy. Um, I mean, the original toy was just a statue. Brian, I got to tell you this. Are you going to sell your original leader class, Jeff Hart? No. Um, I mean, it's the same thing with my Ratchet. There are so many Transformers where it's kind of the same thing as another one. Like, I got now I've got two Legends class tailgates. I've got three Legends class to scout uh, class wind chargers. It's just, you know, different things in my collection that I like to keep around. Um, so no, uh, someone asked me if I was going to give away, actually they asked for my, uh, studio series Optimus Prime and I said no, despite the fact that the new one's coming out. So, uh, anyways, so yeah, I like the combiner of Jetfire. Um, it's probably going to be around the same price as the original toys because of, uh, you know, they, they stepped up the price for studio series for some reason. Um, but as far as I know, it looks pretty cool. The colors kind of clash because there's a bright red and blue. I think that this color scheme would have worked a lot better with the Jetfire combination. Um, but anyways, looking at the Optimus Prime, the alt mode looks fantastic. I love how clean it looks. They definitely stepped it up from that. Um, you know, it still has the kibble. It still has the feet sticking out of the back, which is something that I don't like about the combined mode is that you can see the feet right there. Um, cause in the combined mode for Jetfire, the feet fold up and kind of form the kneecaps, which looks weird. Um, but anyways, so, um, yeah, the alt mode still has most of the same problems, but it looks a lot cleaner. Uh, the colors look a lot brighter, which is good. Um, and uh, I, I believe he has bigger cylinders on the side, so it hides a lot more of the, uh, the kibble. Um, Taking a look at the robot mode. And I'm sorry I'm not bringing up the images, but I already talked about this kind of stuff, and I'm just quickly brushing through it. Oh, my God, we got 50 viewers. Wow. Um, but anyways, uh, that Optimus Prime, I'm kind of pissed off by, but I also like it. Uh, the reason why I'm pissed off by it is there's no point on having this Optimus Prime 
except that they want to release it in the first wave, so they rushed it out. Uh, the new Optimus Prime looks a lot better. It's got a cleaner chest, and despite the fact that it combines with uh, Jetfire, I mean, you can even see some of the tabs and whatnot, they've definitely stepped it up. It also looks a lot bulkier, um, but I think the proportions are done a lot better than the, uh, the Masterpiece movie Optimus Prime, which I will stand to say that there's some elements of the leader class Optimus Prime that is still a lot better than that NPM figure. But anyways, um, so I'm kind of pissed off by that. What I will say, though, is you get an Optimus Prime with the swords and you get an Optimus Prime with a gun, so that's cool. Um, but, yeah, just more or less, I, I like the look of it. I'm just so pissed off that why... Why do we have to have another one now? Like, like they just remolded it to combine with Jetfire. We already have this. And this is for the movie. The, the funny part is, is that the, the first film, or the, I'm sorry, this new studio series, Optimus Prime, is listed for the first film, and then this one's listed for Revenge of the Fallen. But the first film one combines with Jetfire from Revenge of the Fallen. Um... So I don't get that. I still, I, I, I will say this. Um, I'll keep this Optimus Prime still because uh, I really like this mold. Uh, so far with every Studio Series figure I've had problems with, except for the Thundercracker, mostly because it's actually a step up from Nitro Zeus in some ways. Um, but Optimus Prime seems to be the only one where I don't really have too many issues with, except for this little panel thing does not like to tab in, but that's more just the tab itself. Um, but as far as actual issues are concerned, there's not really much to complain about here. Um, I, I really like this Optimus Prime. Uh, Bat and Ratchet seem to be fine, which, uh, I, I know that's not a common thing, but my Ratchet doesn't really seem to have most of the problems that a lot of people have. But, uh, anyways... Moving on from that, we also have Bone Crusher, which I'm excited for. Some people are saying, well, it's, you know, the deluxe one did fine. And I don't disagree with that. I just think that we needed a new one because my Bone Crusher does have problems, which might not be a common thing, but sometimes the little spike things don't really want to line up. Uh, the claw gimmick doesn't really work. Um, and uh, I, I just think that this new one looks a lot better. It's also a lot bigger. Um, it, not, it might not be as big as Voyager Class Optimus Prime. It might just be a little bit shorter than that. But even then, I don't mind because he's got a, a, a big mass to him. Like, he's wide. So I, I think it works. Uh, the one thing that I got to complain about is the alt mode doesn't really look as good as the original Deluxe, even though the original Deluxe definitely has more kibble compared to it. The new one just looks too clean for me, but that might just be me. Um, but another thing that I don't like about this new Bone Crusher, and it's such a small thing, is that there are these little panel bits on his legs that stick out. That's it. That's pretty much it so far. I really like the look of this Bone Crusher, and uh, I can't wait for it to be released. And you know what's funny enough is that Bone Crusher is going to be released, and then right after we're going to get the other Constructicons. So it's like finally Bone Crusher can fit in with the rest of the crew. He won't combine with Devastator, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be a fan-made mode where you can combine it with Devastator. That would be cool. In fact, I don't know why I never took my original Bone Crusher and combined it with my Devastator, which I have right here. Um, I got the um, the two-pack with Ironhide. Uh, okay. And then after that, we got the Dark of the Moon Megatron. Funny enough, I see people complain about this, but I also recall that people wanted this in the first place. Uh, some people are also saying that, oh, this must have been the uh, the Megatron design that they were going to use in Dark of the Moon because we had a rumor that we would get a later class Megatron, um, but we never got. So maybe this one took design aspects of that. I don't think so. I'm not going to say it doesn't. But one, I don't even know if that Megatron was actually going to happen uh, because we just got a, a, a report 
out of the blue back in like 2011, 2012, saying that, oh yeah, we'll get a Lear class Megatron, we'll get a Human Alliance Top Spin and Q and Mirage and whatnot. Like it, it just lists the basic Transformers toys that weren't from the film. It didn't really talk too much about any extra characters because in Dark of the Moon, we also had um dark steel we had uh what what else we had um we had a whole bunch of other figures that uh air raid and whatnot we had a bunch of figures that weren't from the film but they added into the movie toy line anyways uh they did a lot of that during the first film in revenge of the fallen um but we didn't get i i don't think we had any listed for um for that list um Again, it was just mostly the basic stuff, so I'm not, I don't think that rumor was really true. Um, but anyways, I like the fact that we're getting a Dark of the Moon Leader Class Megatron because it is something that people wanted originally. People asked for a Leader Class Megatron. I understand that, oh yeah, there's a third party one. You know what, it's expensive and, uh, or probably expensive, I don't know, I haven't really looked up on it. But... Um, maybe some people want a new one, I guess, or maybe want to purchase from Hasbro themselves or Takara. I will say that the spikes on Megatron looks a little too long, but I don't mind the truck mode. I'm just kind of concerned about that cloak. In robot mode, uh, he looks good for the most part. I like the head. I just don't like the boxy look of the arms and the legs. He kind of looks like something from the AllSpark Tech series. Uh, but overall, I don't mind. I like the giant gun. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a Sentinel Prime soon. But again, what I really like about this Megatron is that's a figure that people wanted originally. I find it funny that nowadays people don't seem to really care about that Megatron. Um... But I remember back in the day, people wanted a Dark of the Moon Leader Class Optimus Prime, mainly to go up against the Revenge of the Fallen Optimus Prime they just got beforehand. Um, and the Sentinel Prime itself. I think the head, from what you can see, is a lot better than the original Voyager Class Dark of the Moon Megatron. Um, you know, it looks somewhat like this, but I think it looks a lot better. Um, I don't think it's that bad. I think they could have done more with it, though. But I like what I see. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, that's pretty much everything uh, that was covered beforehand. Let's go ahead and take a look at the brand new stuff. I'm going to screen share for this. Uh, Brian, I got an idea. The first movie, Optimus Prime, comes out. You can get to keep the other one and repaint the other one into Revengeful Fallen, but you don't need to spend too much money on two. Sorry, you lost me. Uh, let's see, okay. So let's go ahead and screen share and show off these Transformers. So I said in the previous cast that I thought that character B would be shattered because we got a listing of Takara figures. One of them was character B, but we never saw anything for a shattered toy. Finally, we're getting a shattered toy, and I thought that she was going to transform into the jet to go up uh, with the uh, dropkick figure, but it seems like she's going to transform into the car. Maybe we'll get the jet mode, but this is what we got so far. And I guess it kind of makes sense. Uh, I also point out that the Wreckers from Dark of the Moon kind of did the same thing where you had the clean car and then you had the souped up cars for some of the toys. Uh, take, for example, the Dark of the Moon Human Alliance Wreckers had Leadfoot as a normal car and then Roadbuster as the souped up car. So I guess they're kind of doing the same thing here. Uh, you can also see that uh, there is images of the backdrop. I'm not going to pull it up right now, but the backdrop says... Um, Something like Decepticon Entry or uh, Decepticon Arrival or something like that. And I remember looking back at the trailer and seeing the vehicle mode for Shatter uh, there uh, on the scene. So I guess that's where Shatter gains the alt mode, or at least this alt mode. 
Um, but uh, this car looks good. I am kind of concerned about it because if you take a look at Shatter at the booth, uh, the wheels don't seem to lock in. Now, maybe it's mistransformed or something like that, but it's just something to point out. Also, the coloring, when you see it in person, looks a little too light. Um, so I'm not sure if they're going to cheapen the plastic once again. Yay! But the alt mode, in this image at least, looks very cool. Um, I like the, what is it, a, a Plymouth? I believe it's a Plymouth. I, I could have that wrong. Um, but I like how souped up it is. It's got the engine on the front. It's got the bars on the windows. It just looks cool. I love the look of this car. Um, I mean, I love Hot Wheels in general. So with that out of the way, uh, not really much else to say. Um, I like it. And then the robot mode, I also really like. Uh, first of all, she's got two guns on her arms. So I guess she'll have that in the film. In fact, I recall in one of the trailers, before the trailer, um, it, it was like a 30 second shot and it showed Shatter shooting at something and now I remember oh yeah she did have guns on the side of her arms okay cool um but i like the coloring her head seems to have the face mask version because i think she's going to have some sort of bowel helmet mask thing um the details on the chest looks fantastic i even like how you can see part of the engine on the top here you can't really see a lot of the jet mode parts um they seem to opt out for the car excuse me sorry they seem to opt out for the car parts, but it seems like Dropkick's kind of doing the same thing because Dropkick in the film has the car doors on the top. Um, but if you look at him from the toy, it just seems like random parts of the helicopter. Um, but yeah, this looks really cool. I'm not even seeing the landing gear in the front here because if you look at the CGI design, she's got this weird landing strut uh, in the middle. Um, but uh, yeah, it looks really cool to me. Um, I'm just kind of concerned about it because something sets, um, bleh, God, I can't talk today. Um, I'm kind of set off by something. I don't know why, but I feel like there's going to be a huge issue with Shatter. She looks good in the images, but I feel like there's going to be some problem with it that's just going to ruin it. I don't know what it is exactly, but I just have the feeling. Um, a lot of the Studio Series figures I've been getting lately, a lot of them seem to have problems. I had to shave off a whole tab from the uh, Bumblebee movie, Volkswagen Bumblebee. So, I don't know. Uh, all I know is this looks good so far. I like the coloring. The red and black looks nice. And um, I I'm hoping for good things on this toy. And uh, I definitely want the dropkick now, if I didn't beforehand. Uh, and then we have the best character out of this whole lineup. This is Scrap Metal, which is the constructed con that everyone seems to remind me about. Is the one that died in Revenge of the Fallen. Yes or no? I've watched the film. <clears throat> but anyways, uh, there's a lot of kibble on the front here. I will say that. But uh, the overall aesthetic, the overall look looks pretty good. Um, I'm not sure about uh, the hydraulics and gears and whatnot being painted on. It might look up because sometimes if you have mostly yellow and then little bits of painted detail, sometimes it's just set off. Um, but overall, I like the look of it. I'm glad we're getting some Constructicons. And uh, yeah, so there's the alt mode. In robot mode, he looks weird. Like his head looks stupid to me actually kind of looks like bone crusher in a way um but his arms are weird and then his legs are weird and the proportions of his body is weird just everything is off about this guy and i love it i love the look of this guy he's so strange that i can't help but love it um he does have the chicken legs so if some people aren't into that i get it but the overall look of his face ah. Uh, it's so weird. Uh, uh, I love that he's got claw hands, so he's Zoidberg. Insert joke here. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> um, you do have some painted lights on the side here, or at least maybe it's transparent plastic, but 
you know, good detail. Um, very well detailed on the torso, I, I got to say. Um, but, yeah, I, I just I really like the look of this guy. I think he looks fantastic. Moving right along, we have, uh, let's see. Okay, so I'm missing an image. Uh, let's see. Okay, uh, we got Cogman. Now, this is one where I understand people are going to be happy about because Cogman didn't really get a big release. So this is going to be your second chance to get the figure, which is good. I hate it because Cogman, I have that figure. I have Cogman. Uh, let me see if I can go back to my video screen for a second here. And show off. See, I have Cogman. What's the point of this? Except for the fact that I didn't really get a massive release. I mean, good for other people, I guess. But shouldn't this spot have been filled with a character that we didn't really get a toy of? I mean, we already got scrap metal, and then they just kind of stopped there. And he's just a repaint, too. Uh, which, which I thought he was going to be. And I have the feeling that... Uh, they list off that we're go uh, going to get another Optimus Prime in the toy line. I have a feeling that that's going to be another repaint of the Last Night Optimus Prime. But I'm just kind of pissed off because we just got the Last Night. We just got that film. And now we got, what is it, three spots of Transformers toys uh, for studio series that could, could have been filled with Dark of the Moon toys or Revenge of the Fallen toys that is now listed for the Last Night. Whoop de doo. We got Drift. We got uh, the World War II Bumblebee, which I get. And then we got this. I, I really hope that we do not get Canopy. I know we've got Long Haul, but there's like no point to having Canopy. I guess they could just give him the truck mode, anyways, but he doesn't really do anything in the film. I, I don't get why people want that. We also have Payload originally. So it's like there's no point to having that. I will say, though, the Aston Martin mode is gorgeous looking. It looks fantastic. Uh, and if you see it on display, it looks like a shinier color, which is good. But I'm not sure if in person it's going to look like that exactly. Um, but um, I think this is fine for the people that don't have the original toy. But uh, the wheels are definitely painted much better on the original toy. Also, I like the... Uh, the wash of the original toy. Um, taking a look at the robot mode, it's a lot more clean. Now, the color scheme seems a little more consistent, which is a good thing. Um, but uh, I, I just don't need it, and that's my personal opinion. You might. Um, and the funny part about this is people are still freaking out about Cogman, but he's still on ToysRust.ca. I can actually order him if I wanted to. Um, I have another one in box that's going to someone. So, yeah, I, this is just my personal opinion. I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of the idea that it's filling up a spot in studio series. But I guess some people will like it. Um, I have the toy. It's a good toy. So if you want to get it, go ahead and get it. And then we have Rampage, which uh, some people are excited that, oh, it's the red version. Some people are going, ha ha, I told you, it's the red version. And I'm just like, I knew it was going to be the red version. I, re I really didn't think otherwise. Um, the only reason why I would think otherwise is because it combines with Devastator, or at least that was the assumption. Um, but other than that, I, I was pretty certain that it was going to be the red because that's film accurate. Uh, in the alt mode, you can see a peg hole on the front, you know, and that's just for the transformation. But I love the look of the scoop. It looks a lot better than the original toy already. Because um, the original toy looked completely off to the uh, vehicle that they actually used in the film. Um, but I believe that the deluxe rampage that we got in Revenge of the Fallen is based on Devastator's leg and not necessarily the technically skipjack as people called it, but um, the rampage used in the film. 
Um, I like the treads. I like how the treads are kind of curvy, which is nice. Um, he does have kibble that I'm looking at, but with a construction vehicle, it's a lot harder to hide that kibble, so I understand. Um, but not too bad of an alt mode. And then we take a look at the robot mode, and in robot mode, he does have that base. Uh, I hope you can take it off, but if not, you know, I'm not going to mind too much. <sighs> Sorry. Uh, he does seem to have the whips, uh, so that's good. And I love the fact that the hands look weird. Oh, and he does have the guns on his hands, so that's cool. Or at least that looks like guns on his hands. I might be wrong about that. Uh, the head sculpt looks fantastic. And when I saw this uh, figure on display, I was thinking, yeah, this probably does combine to form a Devastator because most of his torso seems to be a leg joint. Um, or at least inside here, it looks like a joint that would be used for a foot. Um, but uh, overall, I, I think they did a pretty uh, pretty good job with this. And I don't mind the fact that he's got that base. I know some people are going to be annoyed by it, but, I mean, it, it's better than the four claws thing from the original toy. It's pretty bulky uh, from the back especially, but I think for what it's worth, they did a pretty good job. And it does seem to be very simple to transform, uh, or at least for the most part. Like, you can get an idea of how it transforms, but considering he does combine to form Devastator, I don't mind. That was another hint to, uh, to the fact that this would combine to form Devastator. Um, but yeah, um, I will say this, though. I get why he's a Voyager to go with the long haul, but my concern with this is how tall is he going to be compared to Bumblebee? I don't know. Maybe he'll look good with the, uh, what is it, the Hunt for Decepticons Deluxe Class Bumblebee. But uh, overall, this looks really cool. And I'm pretty excited for it. And then last but not least, we got Long Haul. Now, in alt mode, I'm not sure if it really tops the original Revenge of the Fallen toy. I do like it, and I don't have a Long Haul in my collection. I just have the payload, so I'm thinking of getting this. Uh, especially considering the fact that it combines with Devastator. That was another thing that people wanted from the original toy line, is for the Constructicons to actually combine to form Devastator, and now we're getting that. That's three things that people wanted when the toys were coming out originally, and now we're getting them. Um, I will say, though, if you look at the display photos, you can see the arms sticking up from the top. That I'm not a fan of, but whatever, considering everything going on here, it, there's probably a reason for it. Um, but the coloring is fine. I'm not sure if I like the blue windows, but uh, the wheels are cool. It's just, I don't think it's a step up to the aesthetic of the original toy. Um, there, there's something about it. it, it either looks too clean or it's not really exactly what Long Haul originally transformed into. I like the massive looking toy of the original um especially when you look at the front of that thing it just looked gigantic this doesn't look gigantic to me but that might just be me taking a look at the robot mode there's some things that i like better than the original toy there's some things that i find worse off uh first of all uh the side panel bits on his arms i think was done better on the original toy but that's just a personal thing. I don't even hate what's going on here. Um, I do like the fact that he seems to come with the missiles molded in. So that's cool. Um, and I don't know. There's just something off about the feet and the legs. Um, but other than that, I think this is a huge improvement over the original Revenge of the Fallen Voyager class toy because of mainly the backpack. Um... I believe it's still a little off compared to what he's seen in the film. But if you look at the original long haul toy, that one just looked completely off. There was this bar in the middle there and then the wheels. You, you weren't exactly sure what to do with. Uh, this one looks so much better and the head sculpt looks better too. 
Um, personally, I, I think I like this a little bit more. The sculpting of the body looks better. It looks bulkier. Uh, the arms look right. Uh, and I like how thick the legs look, too. So I'm really interested in this toy. And uh, Long Haul was always my favorite of the Constructicons, uh, at least for the film, because he looked like a Constructicon. You look at the other ones, and they look kind of weird. There were different things about each one, uh, it, and, and some of them didn't even have the original names. For this guy, Long Haul, he was in the original color, he was in the original alt mode, and he looked like something that would be considered Long Haul. So I'm like, I, I like what I'm seeing, and uh, I think they did a pretty good job. Now, before we close out, I need to point out that, yes, this will all combine to form Devastator, which confirms that we are going to get a, uh, or at least three other Constructicons in the lineup. We are going to get a Mixed Master, it seems. Uh, it looks like we're going to get either Scavenger or Demolisher. In my personal opinion, I think it's going to be Demolisher. Because if you look at the arm, they're using scrap metal as one of the arms. That wasn't the original design. The original design had Hightower. Um, but, you know, I, I don't necessarily mind it too much. Um, and it seems like we're also going to get Scrapper, which Scrapper was a character that we never got an original toy for. Um, that was actually, I think, one of the two Constructicons actually missing that was seen in the film. Uh, and not just based on concept art. Um, and it looks pretty big. I like the aesthetic. I like the look of it. Um, and I'm loving the fact that he does combine with the other Constructicons. I will also say that, and this is just to remind people, this was not the original, uh, or this was not something that happened in the film. In the original film, the Constructicons were just their own thing, and then Devastator was also his own thing. He didn't actually combine uh, from different Constructicons. He was just different construction vehicles. But they decided for Studio Series, especially considering the fact that this would have been an expensive thing to get uh, alongside the Constructicons, they decide, you know what, we'll just make him a combiner. You know, we'll just do this because it's something that people kind of wanted originally. So let's just go ahead and do it. It is a huge investment because you've got at least, let's just say for argument's sake, three Voyagers and three Deluxes. Now, I'm not sure if that's accurate. It could be a leader class forming the torso. I kind of hope that's a leader class forming the torso. If it's going to be the Demolisher, that would have been cool. Um, it could also be that uh, maybe Overlord from the original uh, concept art could be the lower half of the body. I'm not sure. It could also be that Mixmaster might not actually be involved and that head might flip out of um, Demolisher anyways. You know, they might just skip out on that. Who knows exactly? But I, I don't think they're going to skip out on Mixmaster. I'm just saying the possibility. Um, but it's going to be a huge investment. Uh, out here in Canada, a Deluxe is 30 bucks. So that's 90 bucks right there for three of the figures and then voyagers are about 40 bucks so that's 120 so that's a lot of money for these but considering that again they're also different transformers that combine into something and they're part of the main line anyways i don't think this is a bad idea and they also show at the display a prototype image now i don't know if that mix master or if that is Mixed Master, because just looking at the design, it looks like mostly one solid piece. Um, now, it's possible that... Wait a minute. So... Wait. Oh, maybe this is... No, that doesn't make sense. Oh, we're getting seven. Okay. Oh, okay. Now I'm getting it. So I think what's going on with the Devastator is for the Demolisher piece or the main piece, 
a lot of it will go to the side here helping out this arm because on this arm you've got two characters forming the lower arm where it, it seems like we are going to get a high tail figure or whatever character you want to call it because if you look at the side here you can see the crane part um but from the lower arm section you can kind of see the limbs from the uh scrap metal and when you take a look at the image showing out, okay, these are the characters that are going to be added into the figure, you can see that scrap metal forms the arm. So I'm guessing that, yeah, high tail will be a thing on this, uh, which that's going to be interesting to see. I wonder how they're going to tackle that. But I don't know how, this is really interesting because I, I'm not sure how they're going to do this, uh, especially with Mixmaster. If that is Mixmaster. I know some people are going to say, well, you're stupid. Obviously, they're going to do Mixmaster. They could potentially just skip out on it entirely. Um, but what I do find interesting is that we're getting Devastator. We already have the Megatron for Revenge of the Fallen. And we're getting the Jetfire Optimus Prime. This is clearly because it's the 10th anniversary of Revenge of the Fallen. Hopefully, by the next two years, if they continue to do more Studio Series stuff, we'll get some anniversary Dark of the Moon stuff. I'm not going to guarantee it, but that seems like a possibility. Now, comparing that Devastator... Actually, comparing the Rampage to the original one... Yeah, this guy clearly needed an update. I mean, that head doesn't even look like the Rampage, if I I, I gotta be honest. Um, I mean, some people hate this Rampage. I still love it, but I get it. But uh, when you compare it to the original Devastator, I get why they had to do this. I get why he's just his own thing. Because one, as I mentioned multiple times, and it's probably annoying, he didn't actually... Uh, combined from Constructicons, he was just construction vehicles. Uh, and, and two, with the engineering on making this combine with a whole bunch of Constructicons that would also have their own robot modes, that's a lot to do. But now, 10 years past, they've probably looked at the design long enough, they probably didn't even rush themselves to do it, so they had more potential to actually do it. Uh, I understand that, oh yeah, well, the Legends class one did the did that. Um, but the Legends class one is also a lot smaller. So it could get away with doing a lot more. Or um, it can get away with uh, the more simpler Transformers because they don't usually have all the articulation. So you have a stiff arm that can actually support the weight. Um, but not only that, it, it it was much smaller, so it didn't weigh as much, so it's not like it's going to collapse on itself. But um, I'm curious to see how the new Devastator goes. I'm still going to keep this one around, um, because I actually have a lot of fun messing around with this. The gimmick doesn't seem to work, like the lights and sounds, but this is still fun to do. Um, it's a lot easier to transform, which I'm sure that the Studio Series 1 coming up is probably going to take an hour to transform. Um, and yeah, I, I just, I still like this thing. Um, what's going to be interesting about this is uh, this was my 100th review that I did for my Canadian reviewer show. So I wonder if whenever that Devastator comes out, am I going to do another, like, oh, this is going to be the 400th special or something like that? I don't know. And then we're going to have the other construct guns leading up to that. I guess we'll have to wait and see. So, with all that said, what am I going to pick up? And I will get to the chat in a second. Oh my God, we got 70 viewers right now? Thank you guys so much for checking the checking out the channel. I actually want to check out, did we gain any subs? <laughs> I know that sounds awful, but well, we gained a couple of subs. Thank you for subscribing. Um, but anyways, what is going to be my pickups? Cogman's a pass. I have the original Cogman. There's no point in getting this. 
All right, I just, I have no reason to purchase it. Um, so Cogman, Jetfire, I might to combine with the Optimus Prime because I want that Studio Series Optimus Prime. Despite the fact that I have this, uh, it just looks much better compared to that and also it combines with Jetfire. I want to see how that combination works. Um, especially because it will be smaller compared to the original toy, which I like the original toy, but with the newer Transformers, they're a lot smaller. It's not like uh, Optimus Prime was always a leader or Megatron was always a leader. So I want to see how that compares to the new lineup of Transformers with Studio Series, Age of Extinction, Dark of the Moon, and The Last Night. Um, so I might pick that up. Um, Bone Crusher, yes. I really want that Bone Crusher. It's much taller. Uh, it will step up with the Optimus Prime. Uh, so that will be fun. Um, Shatter, yes. I really want that Shatter toy, but I just, I have a feeling that something is going to be wrong with it. Uh, Scrap Metal, yes, because he's adorable. I love him. Uh, Long haul, I, I think I, I have to if I want to make the Devastator, but just talking about Long Haul himself, I don't have Long Haul. I believe the only Constructicon, bleh, the Constructicons that I have in my collection from Revenge of the Fallen Toys is Rampage, and I guess if you want to count Payload. I didn't really get a lot of them, despite the fact that I really wanted them, especially Demolisher. So, Long Haul, I think yes. Uh, and then who else was the other one? Rampage? I think I'd have to. Um, I think it looks a lot better than the original deluxe class toy. Um, and I like the aesthetic, even though it's weird. <laughs> it, it was different. Um, and Devastator as a whole, I think looks pretty good. And I gotta commend them for actually doing it. It might not be the best figure out there. I'm sure it's going to have its issues. But from the simple fact that they want to do it and they went ahead and did it. I got to applaud them for that. Really cool. Um, you might not like the aesthetic of Devastator. I don't necessarily mind it. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and just go to the chat. Does anyone have anything they want to point out? Uh, also, I would love to see a, was it, uh, uh, what's the character that Shatter is inspired by? Um, Knight something, I think? No. What about Leader Class Wheelie? Ha <laughs> no. Hmm. You think Long Haul will be repainted into Payload? I don't think so. I mean, we, the, uh, Nightbird, that's what his name was, or her name. I, I would love to see a repaint of that. I don't think uh, they'll repaint it as uh, Payload. Yeah, Trench, uh, I guess you can use it for Trench. Anything about Evasion Mode Prime? Uh, nothing that I've seen so far, and I'm not even sure if we're going to get an Evasion style Prime. There are eight Constructicons, Hasbro said during the presentation. Okay, cool. So we know of Hightail, Scrap Metal, Scrapper. Sorry, uh, Rampage, Long Haul, Scrap Metal. So far, all we, uh, we can tell is uh, Hightail. Scrapper, Demolisher, and Mixed Master. So I guess there's one more that we don't know about. Dark Moon, Megatron, Minecraft Legs, yeah. I would love to see a Soundwave Studio Series figure. Um, maybe in 2021. Do you think Studio Series Mixmaster would compare with 2009 Voyager? Or 
Do you think Studio Series Mixmaster would compare with 2009 Voyager Mixmaster? I, I don't get that question. How would it compare? Uh, I don't know, because I don't have the original toy. Yeah, Studio Series Fallen would be interesting, but I'm, I'm not sure if we really need it right now. I, I feel like they're going to do that, and I feel like... I feel like the Fallen would probably be a Wave 3 or Wave 4 Voyager of next year. I hope there will be a Studio Series Mohawk. No, I don't. Uh, Dreadbot, I don't. Onslaught, fuck that. Uh, Day Trader, nope. Trench, nope. Canopy, nope. Sorry, I don't want I don't want Studio Series to be filled with a, a movie toy line that we just got, and then also half of those didn't really do anything. What did Onslaught do? Die? Did you hear about Studio Series Jack Bar? No. You mean from the two videos that I already did, and then this one already talking about it? Studio Series Hatchet, but it's a repaint of Crowbar. <laughs> Only the good Decepticons got toys from the last night. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, maybe a Mohawk, but other than that, that's pretty much it. Jolt would be okay, I guess. Maybe he could be a deluxe for next year. Well, the leader class, Megatron, Dark of the Moon. Oh, by the way, he does come with um, the little guy, uh, Igor, it seems. Um, will be taller than leader class, Megatron, from 2009. I have no idea. What the hell? Uh, the last night's studio series at the end of the toy line. Do you want to see the last night's studio series? Oh, uh, I don't know. Studio Series Leader, Voyager Dinobots. Oh, that's another thing. I want them to do Slug and Strafe just because they've totally improved from the Voyager class or Deluxe class Scorn. And then this Grimlock is a huge improvement. I want to see what they do with, um, with a Studio Series Strafe and Slug. Yeah, I wouldn't mind seeing the Fallen out of the toy line just to kind of complete all these characters but i think what they're doing is they're doing the highlights from the film and that's jetfire prime and uh devastator isn't igor long haul's head i guess why does megatron keep coming back is my question because he's the main bad guy i guess leader class galvatron uh I don't know. I don't really care for Galvatron. Studio Series Um, I, I would like to see that and for them to combine them. But would it be a Deluxe Class box set or a Voyager Class box set so that they can have all three of them? And again, I'm going to make this point because some people just stepped in. Just because I don't do a video on something that TFW uh, reports on doesn't mean I don't know about it. It's just either A, I don't want to talk about it right now, B, I'm too busy, or C, I don't feel like talking about it. When TFW 2005 reports about it, I'm going to know about it, okay? So... The reason why I'm saying that is because people have been sending me links or telling me Hey, Studio Series, uh, Shatter, Onslaught, or not Onslaught, Long Haul, and blah, 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 blah is out. And it's like the first article you see on TFW 2005. I'm going to know about it. I don't know about Studio Series Blitzwing. I, I had the feeling that it would be a Toys R Us exclusive to go up uh, with um, the Thundercracker and whatnot. I don't know. Maybe next year it could be. I, I do think it's weird that we haven't gotten Blitzwing so far. But if we get at least the three main guys, I, I wouldn't mind. I 
Hasbro, after a night of drinking, remember that big guy with the balls? Let's make a toy of each one on a farm. Yeah, that's pretty much Hasbro right now. Hey, you remember that big devastator people wanted to combine and to actually be a good size? So yeah, let's do that. Oh, Dark Moon Megatron, they want a leader class? Oh, bigger bone crusher, write it down. Took them how many years, but they're finally listening to what people wanted. I guess it's because with studio series, they can uh, they can take the time and they don't have to rush into anything and they can just do whatever they want. Because when the original toys were coming out, people wanted something, but Hasbro was already trying to make the next toy, especially with Revenge of the Fallen and, and the first film, because the next film was coming up, so they had to design toys for that film uh, while still keeping in line with the previous film toy line. So, um, so I, I just think that now that they have time and now that they can do whatever they want, they went back to, um, sorry, they went, they went back to Ugh, I, I don't know why I can't think about it today. Anyways, they went back to the criticism. They went back to what people wanted because there's nothing in the way and they're going to do it. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't really say that. I don't know why. I'm not sure if they're going to do a shatter and drop kick in the opposite modes. Uh, I'm not saying otherwise, but I, I just I, I wouldn't get my hopes up for them just yet. Although I could be wrong. I mean, who would have thought that in 2019 we'd get a Devastator from Revenge of the Fallen that actually combines from separate Constructicons? Or the fact that we even got a freaking Crowbar or Stinger that's actually a good-looking Stinger. I really like my uh, Studio Series figures, even though... It is just the movie toy line, and I know the movies aren't really the best, but uh, I, I do like the fact that this has become so nostalgic for people that they just decide, you know what, we're going to do this. And it mainly comes from, I think, now don't quote me on this, I think it's mainly coming because of the Bumblebee movie. They had planned that they wanted to do different films in the future. But I guess they want to keep the toy line going so that as films come out, they can just do whatever toys. Uh, and then this is mo mainly just filler in the toy line. But I guess people really liked it so much that they just kept it going and they like it now. And I think that's all thanks to the fact that we got the Bumblebee movie that wouldn't have had too many toys. But with future movies, they probably would have had more characters than what this film has. So I think because it's got a smaller cast, they tried to fill it out, and, and they gave us all these studio series figures. They gave us Stinger, Ratchet, Megatron, Optimus Prime, Starscream, Thundercrackers, Toys R Us exclusive, Grimlock, and whatever else. So all thanks to Bumblebee, which people seem to shit on, we have this whole toy line. If you could pick up uh, one Transformer to add to Babers and not make them a bad character, who would it be? Does Onslaught count? No, Bruticus. Uh, oh, that's another thing, is that the Optimus Prime coming out could be from the Bumblebee movie. That's another possibility. So, I got to head out. This has been fun and enjoyable. Uh, I'm not sure what other Studio Series figures I'm going to get right now. I did see the Brawl. I did see Ironhide. Um, and my Toys R Us website has the Revenge of the Fallen Color Star Screen, but it's not in stock. And then also I should probably get the Blackout. And I have seen at my Walmart the Shadow Raider and the new Dark Moon Ratchet. 
I've also recently seen uh, the first wave Bumblebee again, but I'm not sure if I'm going to get that. I might just wait for the rusty Bumblebee. Um, or I might get that big pack with the customized things. Um, but for right now, this is what I got right now. So Stinger, Volkswagen, Bumblebee, Ratchet, Megatron, Thundercracker, Starscream, Optimus, and Grimlock. It's not the best toy line, and I've had a lot of issues with it. Uh, but I've also had issues with the Generations Power of the Prime, so it's not its fault. It's just Hasbro being dicks. But every time I look at this, I'm thinking, yeah, I, I actually enjoy a lot of these figures. So I really can't wait to see how the new Studio Series figures are going to hold up. And I'm curious what they're going to do after Devastator if they do continue this toy line. Uh, I believe it. there was a listing that said that Studio Series would continue into 2019, but I'm not sure how far we're going to go past that because maybe they might not make another Transformers film and it's like, okay, then what's the point of having these uh, the Studio Series toy line if they're not going to continue making the films? Um. And I guess that's a good thing that this is also a part of the Generations toy line is that, well, uh, at least uh, Studio Series is considered nostalgic, I guess. Um, I would like to at least get the whole 2007 cast. And I think we're most of the way there. Um, we don't have Frenzy, but we got Barricade. So we got Optimus, Ratchet, um bumblebee which i need to get jazz which i need to get and then ironhide which i need to get uh and then for the decepticons we don't have the first movie megatron but we got revenge of the fallen megatron starscream barricade brawl bone crusher blackout scorponok and i feel like i'm missing something yeah okay Sorry, someone was calling me. Um, and who, who else was in that movie? I feel like I'm missing something. Brawl, Megatron, Starscream, Bone Crusher, Barricade, Blackout. Is Dropkick Girlfriend with Shatter? Well, Dropkick's a guy, so... <laughs> also, uh, to that whole thing, I don't think they're going to make any point with it. I, I mean, they're Decepticons going after an Autobot. It, it doesn't really have anything to do with the plot. So, uh, Yeah, I, I know Frenzy, but... If you are jealous, this is... When I say I have Blackout, I'm not really that jealous. I mean, the Blackout looks cool, but I kind of like the look of Grimlock more, so that's the one I picked up. My stores hell, uh, still have Blackout, so I can get it. Um, man, it's just, it's driving me nuts that uh, I, I feel like there is a Decepticon that I'm forgetting. Hey, Brian, uh, sorry you can't be here. Uh, close Discord, friend. Oh, oh wow! Sorry to hear. Uh, let's see. Do you think Frenzy might be an accessory to that? Um, no, I don't think Barricade's gonna have Frenzy. Um, oh God, why do I get the feeling that I'm missing one of the characters? Uh, let's see. PF Wiki. We'll just go to that and, and see the first film. Uh, also, we're getting, uh, I'll, I'll make this point, we're getting a um, Generations Barricade. Uh, coming up. And uh, it seems like it's going to be a repaint of Prowl, despite the fact that we've got MicroMasters in the toy line, so... That doesn't make sense to me. Okay, so Megatron, Barricade, 
Starscream, Brawl, Bone Crusher, Blackout, Scorpion, Frenzy. Yeah, we we got most of the Decepticons except for Frenzy. Pretty cool. Um, so I guess that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna head out right now. Um, so with that out of the way, I thank you guys for watching. Um, I I also need to make a point that um, I will try to get the Barricade review coming out soon. That's one of the updates I've got. Another update that I have is that the Halloween special for my review series might not come out till after Halloween. I don't know. And then also I posted on Twitter, which I hope you guys can check out. I asked the question if, does it matter if I use photos for the videos instead of just video clips? Because this camera that I've been using now that I could use doesn't work anymore. There's something wrong with it. So I have to use my new camera now. Uh, the problem with that is the video files are a lot larger and uh, has more definition, I guess. I, I don't really know the technical term. But anyways, it's it, it takes a lot longer because it, it takes longer for my computer to process the clips as I'm editing them down. So if I use photos, it will be a lot easier to use. Now, when it comes to the clips where, okay, I have to grab the figure and do something with it, of course, that will be in video. But do you guys care if the still shots are just photos? So go on to Twitter and you'll see my comment on that and then reply to that if you can. Um, but with that out of the way, thank you guys so much. 70 viewers on this live stream. Wow, that is incredible. Thank you guys uh, so much for checking in, and um, I'm interested to see these Studio Series figures come out. Hopefully they don't suck. With that out of the way, that is pretty much it. If you guys want to, please like, comment, share, subscribe to this one, do that, and I will see you guys. Oh, yeah, and also I'll try to get some before top videos coming out soon, and I will see you guys next time. No! <laughs>